rodent boy summer. Have you seen this? Yes, this no. trend. Rodent boys. Rodent men. <laughs> Which, sorry, I've got to say is so it's rude. It's rude. Uh, I think the <laughs> ultimate. You'll see it now. Well, research on it. <laughs> well, welcome back, everyone, to the group chat. I've got Daisy next to me and Amber, who you all know. And today we've got Tasha. Hello. Very excited to have you here today. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited for this. Well, well, we need to tell them that actually, ages and ages ago, before I was here, before Amber was here, Daisy, you were here, mm-hmm. back when the Lux gen yep. podcast was the lux girl show you were one of the first people ever on <laughs> it's it it's the biggest full circle moment it's crazy it's so full circle. i feel like when i look back at that moment i'm like oh my god because that was pre love island yeah. yeah that was quite like it's crazy to even think like four years later we're here <laughs> and what were you doing back then Back then, I was doing dancing and modelling. Oh, so we were talking about the ASOS, um, when my cock of impairment fell on ASOS. That's what I came to talk about. Oh. Um, so yeah, it's proper wholesome moment. And the journey you've been on since then, yeah. I mean, so much has changed. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah. It's so cool. It's been wild, it's for so sure. Cool. <laughs> I mean, we want to we want to get into it a little bit. I mean, we really want to talk about Love Island. Mm-hmm. And I think you're the expert to be talking yeah. to us about it. Um, but so have you been watching it this year? I have been watching yeah. it, yeah. I, guys, I haven't yet started. <gasps> oh but I need God. you to like get me in the vibes to like want to watch Amber, it are you year. watching it i'm watching bits i'm watching a lot of the clips on tiktok to catch mm-hmm. up because i feel like i can't watch it every night so yeah. then if i feel like i need a, a digest i'll watch you all do, the clips you do yeah. have to be careful though because they're those spoilers yeah oh yeah that's what i'm like really trying not to once you like one on tiktok you'll see all of them so i'm just trying <laughs> not to look so that i can binge it this weekend um but before we like get into the new season i want to kind of talk about you and mm. your season and i mean it was obviously I'm sure it was a great experience, but you did have a hard time on there. Oh yeah, <laughs> like it wasn't. It, it wasn't, wasn't an easy. easy ride. No, it wasn't. But you know what? When I look back, I think you know I definitely had a personal growth journey in there. Yeah. And that's something I really take from it. Is I grew as a person through those eight weeks, and even though the hard times got hard, I look back and I actually I got a positive and think yeah. you know I got Andrew and I've got enough representation, I and I learned so much from being in there it's weird like yeah. things like relationships and stuff I learned how to actually navigate communicate like, all those situations made me stronger for sure yeah. mm-hmm. and also like I think for representation especially like you said like it's amazing that work you've done and that like activism that you've been able to yeah. do like how yeah. important is that to you that you are now that person that little girls can look up to and be like oh like I can yeah. do whatever <laughs> I want to do as well yeah it's crazy I think when I look back four years ago I didn't really have that person to look up to mm. like when Rose went on Strictly I felt like oh, okay I feel like the world's changing and then to be that voice for you know the younger generation means a lot because that's all I ever wanted to do was kind of be you know to raise awareness for the positivity and really educate people but in the best way possible so it really is weird to say that but I think it means a lot that I could be in that position to do that and I feel like you set such a precedent now the show has changed and it's come on leaps and bounds every year there is someone advocating and you know bringing awareness to to different yeah yeah, different disabilities that perhaps it aren't so obvious. Patsy this year has herbs palsy, yeah. so her arm is slightly one arm is slightly shorter than the other arm. Yeah. Um. But she's you know she's brought aware, awareness to that and mm. is talking about that. And I loved like how she I think it was Ronnie she pulled to the side and was like I just want to tell you just quickly. And as soon as she said that I literally teared up. Did I was you? like because I understand like how vulnerable she must have been in that moment mm. and like to say even though it's in a villa but to know that so many people are going to be mm-hmm. watching it's such a vulnerable thing to say but i think she just did it with such grace and yeah. it was it was such a wholesome moment That's yeah so it really was i think it's amazing that levine is still continuing that momentum yeah but i still want to see more though yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 want to see more. 100%. 100%. <laughs> I feel like we couldn't have you here without asking like tell us something that people don't know about love island or the set or like the filming or something uh, okay this might be a good one so yeah. sometimes if you have an argument with somebody mm. you might have to hold the chat for like a day or two, it's actually wild. There's be times where like me and Andrew would argue and they'd be like, hold the chat, you can't speak to each other <laughs> for like a day. That would drive me crazy. And like they do it because it gets builds your emotions, the builds yeah. up of and like- Oh my God, that's so true. It gets, so that's why they do it, but Heightens I get it, it. But I'm like, when we go over to Andrew, be like, can we start? And they'd be like, I'm over the voice over, like, no, you're not allowed to talk to each other. <gasps> what I'm do like, they call it in there? Do what? they call it like the voice of God or something? Yeah, yeah, voice of God, <laughs> yeah, that's it. So what do you think about Joey Essex on the show this year? <laughs> I think it's smart move. I think it's yeah. a smart move. Very smart move. Everyone's talking about it. The girls it. have lost their heads. It's yeah. what Levine wanted was to have that whole press around it and it really, really yeah. blew off the way it did. I think it's great TV. I really yes. think it's great TV. I am getting slightly bored <laughs> right now, though. They yeah, need I saw to, your something, story. something needs to be switched up. Mm. I think they'll have a few more bombshells. I feel the last few years, yeah. they've had like 
big pe- either like who was it Adam who re-returned from yes. like an old season or they had a few people like yes. that I think they'll they keep trying to surprise people because for a few years there it was feeling a bit repetitive mm. um, the and girls just won't stop arguing right now I know it, really? every day I said this it's, it's quite one. toxic in yeah. a way isn't oh, it oh that's such a shame because yeah. I feel like some years and I think even for your year like the girls I love it when the girls all have each other's backs and yeah. get along. They're not meant to... I know it's sort of a show where they pin people against each other because it's like, which guy are you going to get? And am I going to steal yeah. this person? But I feel like there is a way to do it, to all be friends. And like, mm. it's, I know it's not friend island. Everyone always says that. But yeah. oh, it's such a shame when that's the thing, when they're not yeah. like all... It's along. true. Like if in like even the first episodes, I think it was like Samantha, Nicole, and Harriet. Mm. I could never quite work out if they were going to be like best friends or mortal mm. enemies oh. because they kept just going behind each other's back. I was like, what is going on? I think yeah, that's what happens when you throw Jerry, Jerry Essex into oh. the mix. Yeah. How old is he? No, so early thirty. He still looks yeah. so young, doesn't he? Yeah, Jerry's thirty-three. Yeah. He's always just going to have that rose. I can't. I, like, I just. I think, I it's, think it's, cool. it's the song. It's how Reem's come back. Oh. Oh, you no. want to <laughs> Room. That's like doing the round <laughs> on TikTok Unreal. again. So I think he's gonna get put off by Samantha. I think because she, she just keeps bringing up Joey Essex. Yes. Like you're mm. the, you know, you like refers back to Towie all the time. Really? And yeah. Tell he's like, God, I yeah. Know that. Ooh, yeah. Like I slowly, like, he's gonna get a bit like. Mm, but is she into bit, him like, or like Joey Essex, yeah. the celebrity? I think it's one of those things where, like, if you if I was on there and someone famous was there, you have to acknowledge I know who you are. Like, oh, that's cool. Like, whatever. And then mm. you kind of have to move on. You yeah. can't keep going yeah. back. Yeah, to yeah, it, otherwise, agree. it's a bit of an it. <laughs> it's a bit like oh, super fan then. Definitely. <laughs> Do you think he has like a real advantage with his reality TV background? Mm. Because I guess Love Island is so different to Towie. It's such a different yeah. concept. I reckon it'd be new for him because it's a whole new environment. Yeah. He's not done Love Island before. So he will be in that position of like, oh, this is still new to me, even though he's done probably about 500 shows before. Yeah. He has done every single reality show. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I saw that <laughs> Wikipedia screenshot of like yeah. the year and then every single show he's done since. Uh, every, his I mean, his agent, agent is, is working yeah. over yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> I love it for him though. Who's like one reality, like OG reality star you guys would love to see on Love Island? Mm. Like a Joey Essex type. <gasps> Jenna I, Collins. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Imagine. <laughs> she God, they dominate. couldn't handle her. No, they couldn't. That is a good know. question. I feel like I'd I would like to see Joe Bags in there. Yeah, oh love God. him. I like him. GK Barry. GK oh, yeah, Barry. GK Barry. Oh, yeah. 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 I'd love to see GK Barry. She- <laughs> I'd love to see someone from Made in Chelsea, like an OG Made in Chelsea. Are you guys Chelsea. watching this new rea- Sidemen reality show? No. I've seen clips of it. Apparently yeah. it's, it's getting millions of views. What is it? I actually, I'm not sure of the whole concept. I think there's something, from what I can sort of piece together, they've got, there's like a million pounds mm-hmm. and they get tempted. Mm-hmm. This is what I think. People get tempted that they can spend the money on things like FA Cup final tickets oh, yeah. or like their boyfriend might be sat in a room with yeah. flowers and they can pay 30 grand to just see him. Oh, so they basically have to, you know, try not to spend the money. But I yeah. think some of them do give in to the most ridiculous yeah. things. Yeah. And for like a glass of Prosecco is like 12k or something. Oh that's my it. God. Oh, yes. And I think Chloe Barnes yeah, was Chloe. like necking it. Oh, that's what I was going to say. So is it like normal people or is it influencers? It's all content people? creators. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well is in there. He's a throwback. Oh, oh my God. God. So hot. That's he such is, a, so he is quite hot. Well, to round that off, what's everyone wearing? Catherine Stark? Okay, so eBay pre-loved. These are very old jeans. I don't know, I can't remember where they're from. Axel trainers, Cork Gaia, earrings, hot diamonds necklace. And that's it. Gorge. And Lovely. the nails. <gasps> mm. nails. Who does them? Um, it's spelled C H I in Covent Garden, so cheap. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. So nice. Literally took two hours. I feel like that's a quite a good time. But yeah, summer vibes kind of nails. It really nice. And how long will they last? They last like up to a month. Amazing. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, so they last quite a long time. It's not acrylic, it's gel, but it's oh, like an all in one gel. It's like sticks, kind of sticks on, okay, but it's clever. like UV light, so it's not like because yeah. I feel like acrylics really damage my nails, mm. but these are yeah very lightweight. Lovely, cool. Shatna, what are you wearing today? I am wearing this is a pre-loved helmet line jacket I wear it all the time that I got on Bestiaire, yeah. my fourth studio tee, which Daisy's also wearing. I can see <laughs> we keep we keep putting with this. Um, my belt is Massimo Duty, and the jeans are a line and just some these sambas. Yeah. Some yes. Adidas Sambas. Lovely. Amber, what are you wearing? I am wearing double Zara. Very Lovely. You know, easy. These are very good jeans. Thank mm. you. I know. I've had these fit. for years. I love them. Um, and then I'm also just wearing my trusted Penelope Childers loafers, which yeah. I'm never without. Yeah. Lovely. Daisy? I've got the fourth best on, which actually is perfect. This tank is the so best good. shape, the comfiest mm. thing. I really need it in white. This is just my naked blazer, which I've had for years. It's still 
stocked online with the matching trousers. Really good set. These are the free people barrel jeans in like a leopard print and then my Birkenstock. Lovely. Oh my God, you can finally wear them that sock. Yes. I'm it's going to invest in with them. Yes, they are. I need to invest. I keep seeing it in trend. I'm like, I need to get some. Yeah. They're like the some. ultimate summer shoot. On holiday, I literally am wearing those 24-7. Yeah. Yes. So and good. I think the prices, at one point, they were ridiculously. Mm. Yeah. Because I think everyone was after them. I think the price has finally come yeah. down mm-hmm. slightly and they're a bit more easier to get. Moving on to hot lists. So this is a segment we do in the podcast every week okay. where we just talk about the latest. Like pop culture. Yeah. Okay. What's mm-hmm. going on. I feel like there's a lot of collabs in like um, celebrity cameos and things recently, mm. aren't there? Like, did you see Ariana Grande's new music video with Penn Badgley in it? Yes. The Gossip Girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you guys seen I actually haven't watched it. Which oh one? my God. I've seen Not clips. that we can't be friends one. No, it's oh. another one. So she's like re- literally collecting these actors. Like um, it's Brilliant. a new one. It just came out this weekend. I'm the the Boy it. Is Mine. The Boy Is Mine. I'm not going to hear this one. Oh, it's on TikTok. I I'm sure you would have heard it. But um, yeah, so the news video just came out. She's like dressed as like a cat, like dangerous woman, oh. era, Ariana Grande. Yeah. It's and very sexy. It's like, very sexy. Oh and God, he, it's I, find, I think he's so sexy. He I do is. think I this think music video revival, I'm I'm enjoying I'm Sabrina lo- Carpenter. Oh, oh my God. God. But come on, my it is the hard life. music. Do you remember when we were younger? Like I would just put yes. the music channel on yeah. and yeah. just be watching them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I do MTV. feel like it yeah. would be so yeah. good to oh sort of have gosh. this revival of them. What was your favourite music video from like back in the day? That's a really good. It probably Britney Spears. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Which? Oh my god, what was the I one know. I used to watch all the time? Oh, Miley Cyrus, Seven Things. I don't know that. Seven yeah, seven things I know. Oh yeah, she's like singing into the yeah, and she's in like a white room with the band behind her, and she's like. Oh oh I just... love like Mika's Grace <gasps> Kelly. Do you remember that one? Yeah, that with the piano. And Golden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, Mika, that God. is a throwback. Yeah. Like Black Eyed Peas. Yeah. Yeah, God, music videos. Anyway, I'm loving that Sabrina Carpenter. Hers yeah. is, I, I yeah. went to a coffee shop this morning. It was playing. I was like, I can't oh, escape my, it. I just, her songs are like crack. Like, yeah. They are so <laughs> addictive. <Yeah. laughs> so the new album's coming out this month, right? Yeah. I, yeah. Do you know if it's, is it this month? I think it's I think the 23rd so, yeah. of June. Short and sweet, that's what it's called. Just well, like apparently the whole, it's, the whole thing's only 35 minutes. Oh. The whole album. Mm. But she does just do those like quick bangers. Yeah. 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 Espresso. She's just, and, yeah. oh, she's just but I'm loving like the Easter eggs. I think there was, someone was saying, TikTok the other day at the end of the espresso music video, mm. there's like oh, she's yes. going into jail and you can hear, or she's getting arrested yeah, really? and you can hear this like start of the next song. Yeah, but we can't be getting into this. I'm I already, know. I'm already swifty. <laughs> I can't have two people doing separate like storylines and Easter yeah. eggs. It's too much already being a swifty. So hang on, break down the whole Easter eggs concept. So what it is basically like Marvel and the MCU. Okay. That's who does it. So like because they have a million movies, and they're all Easter intertwined. Eggs. Oh. Exactly. So it's like little clues or things in one movie that then happens in another movie and like ah. it's all connected okay. so then artists and me- oh, I <laughs> fucking love it you know what? I'm a big Marvel fan but so um, singers and things like Taylor Swift started doing it in her songs with lyrics or with music yeah. videos you'll see mm-hmm. a colour or a number somewhere and it'll be somewhere else and it'll be like connecting these two characters or these two two stories or it's just I it's so much to keep up with it's actually exhausting even talking about it <laughs> um, but I think it's so fun it is fun but it I can't is. do it again. I can't do it with someone else. Yeah, I think I think she is about to <laughs> she's, pop off this summer. She really is. She's had some good songs, and I think mm. it's so nice to see like mm. she's really taking off now. Yeah. Did you see her BBC Big BBC yeah. One yeah. Big she, she, gave, she basically yeah. gave BBC the shock of their life. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. Obviously, it was like a family. Yeah. friendly concert and a lot of the lyrics she had to blur out whatever yeah. and at the end she of, does her outros that was yeah. it and she just added a whole line to the yeah. song for that song for yeah. nonsense oh, she yeah. does it in every city she's in she tailors it to yeah. the, the city she's in and for that one she was basically told like not because they're always very rude and they're very like sexual yeah. and yeah. she was told to make it quite low key so she did it in quite like an innuendo way where it wasn't like on the nose but you knew what she was it saying was, yeah and it kind of made you think oh my god yeah 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 <laughs> I can't remember what it was exactly, but it's so funny. What was that amazing one that she did? Was it at Coachella where she was like, Oh, about oh, Barry. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Drinking about like drink- Beth water, like yeah, it's yeah. red wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I was like, my jaw was on the floor. I love that Jesus. Barry's in a cloud as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, He's the biggest, biggest, fan. biggest fan. Yeah. So I've never, honestly, just the way he works. I feel like that's Andrew yeah. with you, though. Yeah. yeah. He's, yeah. He's yeah. your he biggest fan as well. So sweet. Speaking of Barry, Jacob Lordy 
and Bottega. Yes, oh. so Jacob Elordi is Bottega's new ambassador, which I think is the perfect thing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. He's been wearing such a Bottega boy. For years. Yeah, that it just yeah. makes so much sense. So stylish. I love that he carries a handbag. I'm so, oh my god, so, so cool. cool. It's very, I think it's very fashionable it's when cool. men wear handbags. Or like, I think it's so cool. His style, I think, is just the it's coolest. So yeah. cool. It's so simple, and I think it is. It is also that thing of like when you see a supermodel and they're really tall, and it just makes everything look mm-hmm. good. I think he does have a a bit of that but he is just very effortless mm-hmm. and like but I just love the way they've played into that and have thought actually he you know he's been repping Bottega yeah. Yeah. for the last 10 years yeah. and let's get him as an ambassador yeah, yeah. it's so, so spot on and I yeah. feel like why the collaboration works so well is because like Bottega is not about logo mania like the mm. craftsmanship is so beautiful and he is just like I mean he I would look beautiful. at him and think he's a timeless beauty oh, like you 100%. wouldn't re- he doesn't really have iPhone face like yeah, it's just yeah, yeah. it's very refined beautiful mm. I feel like it just works yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Agreed. Agreed. and the other end of the spectrum is the rodent boy summer have you seen this <gasps> yes this <laughs> trend hot uh, rodent hot rodent, boys yeah. rodent boys <laughs> rodent men <laughs> which sorry I've got to say is so it's rude quite rude <laughs> rodent is so men rude. That yeah. men that like, sort of have I guess rodent features which yeah. seems bizarre but I guess the Barry Keegan's the yeah the kind of like Josh not O'Connor. obviously not Timothy obviously Chalamet. fit guys uh, not your sort okay. of yeah you're not your Jacob Elordi your yeah. Timothy Chalamet like also I think these guys are hot but gorgeous but like they're, they're being coined rodent boys it's and apparently it's rodent boy summer I think it's because they've got like quite angular features yeah, yeah, quite, yeah. sometimes quite unconventionally attractive yeah, and yeah. I think Gen Z's are all for that yeah, yeah. and I kind of love that I, I think the <laughs> ultimate you'll see it now more research on it. <laughs> I think the ultimate rodent boy is, is Roddy from Flushed Away and then everyone <laughs> oh kind of like derives from that yes, yes. And he's you the OG fully nailed <laughs> that literally you that really unlock something there for me <laughs> it was like the other day someone you know they were talking about cartoon characters you like find hot yeah and why is the cars <laughs> yeah the cars oh the red car from cars yeah, yeah, literally yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy for like, that. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, no, but it does. Back like in the Lion King, everyone says like Simba's fit. And yeah. I'm like, okay, I kind of get it. But not young Simba, like teenage Simba. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Kind of get it. This is, we, we're obviously not a place to talk about politics. Like, you know, everyone have their own opinion. But have you guys seen Labour's TikTok account? Because it's, it's fucking no, hilarious. I haven't been served them. This is like, is it? this is like, Unreal. when like Ryanair and stuff did TikTok, so it was like, it's They're like that. Social. Ryanair's elite. It's yeah. just it's so media. funny. I just think it's so funny. I think the best thing about it is like, while it is all fun and games, mm. it's actually like, increasing awareness and exactly. mobilization. Mm-hmm. Because these videos, like there was one the other day that they posted being like, Rishi Sunak writing his manifesto, and it was a swipe of James A. Caster at Celebrity Bake Off being like, started making it, had a breakdown, bon appetit. And exactly. To us, that is so easily digestible because exactly. we love memes and we love James A. Caster. Mm. And so from that, we're more likely to engage I'm in so, it and yeah, comment on it and yeah. spread awareness about these political messages. I just think it's 100%. genius. It's really smart. Yeah. Number one thing, make sure you register. Make yes. sure yes. you register. Are voting. register vote. Every vote counts. Every it's vote so, counts. so important. And you don't leave it too, don't leave it too late yeah. to register. You've exactly. got to have your proof of address um, and things like that. Yeah. 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 But speaking of smart TikToks, have you guys seen the Glossier TikTok account when they relaunched the balm.com? No, so basically they, they, they created a new formula for their like cult oh, balm.com, the lip okay. balm. Yeah. And everyone hated it basically. In their oh. comments they were like, This is so shit, this is so bad. So they basically made a TikTok reading all of their staff reading the comments and like right. and then they were like, by the way, we're relaunching the old one. So that was like the marketing campaign to relaunch ah. the old What do they product. say though? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, yeah. it's so true. If That's it, actually quite good. Yeah. It's very good they've done that though. They've yeah. actually realised actually let's go back to our old roots exactly. and know what's good. That's good to realise that as a brand. Yeah, hundred percent. And yeah. to actually like be like, we're hit we hear mm. you, we're gonna, you know, yeah. listen to what you've got to say. What's Smart your campaigns? favourite discontinued product? Oh, Oh, discontinued yeah. snacks you could get me started on that oh my god what what has mm. been discontinued do you remember mars planets no. do you remember no. the the popping candy ch- cabri elves that <gasps> came out of cabri- christmas elves elves <gasps> there'll be people that are wow. are understanding do you remember the ice cream so you'd like you know when you like go to a corner shop and you open the freezer yeah there would be they'd be like in a pot and you tip them into your mouth and they were like ice balls. No. Oh, wait, yes, I do. The little multicolored ones. Yes, and you tip them into your yes, mouth. Yes, yes, yes. Do you yeah. remember those? Uh, They're like little, either. you'd get them at Universal Studios and stuff as well. Really? In the like space bit. Bring I it back. I used to love the strawberry. It was like circles. It was like strawberry and cream, like sweet. 
and it was like hard. Yes, I know, know what you mean. I mean, it's like flat surface. They are so. They were what? so good. A bit like Werther's originals, yeah. but oh. strawberries and cream. But was, why like, do they get so rid of nice. all the good ones and keep things like the shit ones in the um, quality yeah. street tin? I know. But like, we don't need that. We don't need the purple one. We don't need the strawberries one. Strawberry no. one. <laughs> oh, that's like my that? favorite. Really? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Everyone always finds me so weird for liking that one. I think it's the best. This is why they keep it. There's always one. Because it's always one. It's like bounty. It's literally me. Who I like love Bounty. Do you? Oh, it's always oh, one I of my faves. Yeah, I love coconut though. Tell you what you need to try, the barbells, you know the protein bar? They've okay, just got then. one called Choco Choc Coco. Coco and if you like mm. a Bounty, that is, mm. Interesting. that is good. Talking of throwbacks, have you guys seen that trend on TikTok where it's this, they're like, I remember when, I yes. remember, I remember when I lost my mom. And everyone's doing the like things they did on Snapchat to like impress a boy or like to, it kills it me. So oh, I don't good. want to go back to my Snapchat me. memory. Me neither, I've deleted that there. It kind of scares me that that's still out there in the, in yeah. the, in the clouds well, it's somewhere. it's not, is yeah. it? Your Snap yeah. memories, oh. they're there forever. They are that's there really forever. just sat there. But did you guys ever do anything? My one thing I used to do on Snapchat was I'd like sing to songs. Like not just me, like I'd have the, <laughs> I'd have the, <laughs> the dog with the, the dog, dog oh face. God, I'd be yeah. like, Why I'd, like, did that low key make you look really hot though? It did, it did yeah, something to your no, face. You were a wild one. Like, I used to do like I half a face. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why, I used to be like half a face selfie. Like. <laughs> I used to do like a where you'd cover your face, yeah. like that kind of like Barry Keoghan. Oh yeah, Barry. <laughs> and the stars. Oh my god. Or like the peace sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's awful. So funny. <laughs> the mic check. Oh my god. Uh, why? Well, why I didn't do that? When, but when guys used to do that. Oh, oh my god. No, oh. It's, when, it's when they take a picture and they're always like. Yeah, that. <laughs> no, it's when you were at like drinks or something with girls and you'd be like, guys, all say hi, and you spin around, they'd be like, yeah. oh my god. I, I still do that to this do day. You still yeah. do that? Yeah. <laughs> if I get awkward, I'm literally like. That is like Snapchat core for me. It was just spinning yeah, it's around the room. It's still very much like Snapchat is used more than. Yeah, but yeah. I feel like Instagram. it's so different now. My brother's Gen X, and right. he's yeah. like the way that they work social media is so different now. I don't remember. I don't know if you guys remember, like when I was, I think I was like 15, 16, mm. it was a real Facebook thing. Like yeah, we right, loved yeah. like how many likes could you get? I mean, it's so crazy. Oh, yeah, like, how many likes on your profile picture and nudges and <laughs> yeah. pokes. Yeah. And then that's just gone. It is pokes? gone. Yeah. I've deleted fa Facebook. How so, you? Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've got a business mine. account just for my Instagram, but okay. otherwise it's gone. Do you not use Messenger? Because I still think- No. Some people put me sometimes. in Messenger groups. I'm yeah. like, sorry, I've not seen it. There is no one on Facebook. But yeah, your brother will be doing Snapchat. I guess it's the instancy that they're there. They yeah. like they can mm. see people typing back to them already. Yes, yeah. 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 Well, and I think the disappearing it's photos. Exactly. Yeah. It's kind of like you will. It's like TikTok. Like it's you know constant dopamine yeah. gratification yeah. coming in. Exactly. Totally. And it's all the groups people rather than a WhatsApp group they'll have this because that's what we used to have is Snapchat groups. Yeah. Which yeah. And streaks. Do you remember having? Oh streaks? Yeah. yeah. I literally yeah. had like seventy five streaks going on at the same time. <laughs> like I was obsessed. But with it was Snapchat so school. beefy. I remember at school there'd be like a guy I'd like and I'd have like the biggest streak with them. I see a friend of mine that had the biggest streak with him. And I'm like, are you joking? He's mine. Like, <gasps> it was so. Yeah, because they announced. Remember, I remember it was like. Unbelievable, but when they re when they released the who's in your top five, yes, that's oh, what yeah. I mean. Oh, oh my yeah. god, that Everyone was the biggest beat. Yeah. Yeah. Was well, you can see like who's your best friend, but they're not your best friend. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh my god, so painful. BBM. That was our era, really. Yeah, yeah. Never ping. had BBM. Ping, ping, ping. People ping. used to ping. There are so many new launches right now. Oh my god, especially mm -hmm. beauty ones. Road. Can we talk about the pocket oh. balms? They I don't are, know. The pocket like lashes. The Packaging. packaging up of blushes. I don't know okay. what it is. What, what? Is it the final packaging though? Because I had the influencer stuff were getting sent the samples because it was a good yeah. like marketing move to try. But is that the final? I think yeah. so. The brown okay. one, the vinyl. Yeah, the actual. Yeah, it could be a cooler shape, I guess. Mm. But, but the names. Like purple, have you seen the names of them? Yeah. They're like yeah, um, the names Piggy cute. and oh. Sleepy Baby yeah. or something. Oh. The, the names are so good. That's yeah. so cute. Like I said, there's also Fenty hair. Oh, yes. Oh, that's also yeah, coming yeah, yeah. out. Yeah. So what that's will so that cool. entail? I'm guessing like shampoos. I think and stuff, so, yeah. Like hair care. But yeah. And so Jeff much. Avenue Frankie's bikinis. I don't oh, know if you guys. Oh, I think that. this is like the most perfectly aligned so collaboration. Good. Yeah. yeah. So good. I saw it this morning. I was like, oh yeah. Some bits I was like, that's really nice. Yeah. 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 It's a vibe. As soon as I saw those like campaign images, I literally was like, need. that is I summer. <laughs> like I need yeah. to teleport into that. I know we just need campaign. it in the UK. I know. I'm not paying for that shipping. Gosh, I know. Tilda. If you're listening. I <laughs> do actually have two of those things in my basket though. Do if you? I can pay for shipping, I'm like, do you? yeah, I've got the Matilda underwire bikini. Lovely. And like, it's like a cobalt blue one. Mm. Like, Maybe oh, yeah. if we all were 
Edward did a basket True. and then split the shipping. That makes sense, make actually. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 But should we move on to products we're loving, things we're loving? Yes. Tasha, is there anything you're obsessed with right now? I think the Refi Blush. They just launched yeah. summer ones in shade Guava. I've got it on now. It so is nice. stunning. It looks very pigmented, yeah. but it's very and easy it, buildable. Yeah, yeah, is it a sort of creamy blush? Okay. It's like, lovely. you know the little one they do in a square? It's yeah. the same one, it's just a new colour. Yeah, it's and it's... Cool stunning like the shades is given summer they also got like a lip blush and mm. lip gloss in the same shade mm. very pink it's too pink for me and for my lips but the cheek is really so nice. nice it looks so subtle like yeah. it looks so scary in the yeah part, it's like, it oh, really you subtle. can really build it up yeah, yeah. You can get, if you're like a fully blush girl you can really yeah. whack it on but it is so nice yeah. we were saying earlier i feel like you're becoming such a beauty girl like you've got so many good beauty videos at the moment yeah what else are you loving in beauty <sighs> Gosh, I'm loving the L'Oreal Glow Shin. So, so I've got it on now. now. So, oh. so I, what colour do you do? I do medium glow. Oh, nice. Yeah. So how do you put it on? Do you mix it with a moisturiser? Do you put it under your foundation? So I do mix. So some days I just do it on its own, put Bronson blush on top, or sometimes I mix it in with like a moisturiser, mm. just give that extra glow, or put foundation on top. But yeah. I like to do it on, like it on its own. Gives me a bit of a tan. Yeah. I think and it's the only thing you need to take on holiday. Honestly, well, I was really away yeah. this weekend. And I literally wore it just that, and then a bit of concealer, and it was like perfect. Yeah. Let's talk about your holiday. Oh yeah, it didn't. It was just a little weekend getaway. It was really nice. But Went nice. To we were, yeah, I was just saying. What you know, was it worth the the weekend? Yeah, I think, I think so. Yeah. It's just so easy. Like I think somewhere like Spain, it's so quick to get mm. to. It's quite like affordable once you're there. It's just nice, like if you've got a nice hotel to stay in and you're not spending loads of money at restaurants and things. Yeah, yeah. nice little recharge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, there's so much diversity there because you've either got like the really authentic, beautiful side of Mallorca and then yeah. like Magalu, the strip. Oh my god, I know. Like, I've never been there. It's like two different places. Yeah, it's crazy. completely <laughs> different. I know it's lovely. I think with this weather at the moment, I mean. I yeah. couldn't believe Everyone it when I was there. Spice, I was yeah. I was checking my weather app for here and I was like, oh my god, what a shocker they are having mm -hmm. back home. Um, but yeah. um, we just talk. About the earrings as well. Yes. Oh, yeah, they're so nice. So these are from Kurt Gaia. Very nice. Like actually, I clip ons. Them. I didn't know they were clip ons until they came, but I actually quite like that. Bring back the clip ons. So lovely. Yeah. And they clip them in. Bring them back. Bring back the clip ons. Yes. I feel like it's yeah. so nice for when you've got, I mean, not that you've got a simple outfit on, but when you have just got like a yeah. really mm. basic look on, it's so nice. And it makes a whole it. look. Yeah. yeah. Like, I love that in summer, especially in summer. I love to wear like statement jewelry yeah. just to really elevate everything. Mm. It really makes a difference. But speaking of jewelry, you've got a really cool collab coming, mm. haven't you? Or you, it's already launched. Tell yeah, it's out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, tell us about it. Oh my god. So that started in September last year. That's how long it's been going on oh, for. Wow. Um it definitely was just a great process. For me, I always wore like a TNA necklace and gold. Mm -hmm. And Hot Diamonds came over, like, we'd love to, you know, work with you. And I was like, absolutely. So we made our own like personalized necklaces, but you've got four different fonts, different oh, um so cool. like silver, gold. So at the moment I've got the gold one TNA. This one I've been wearing like literally oh, so nice. months. Oh, Oh, I was in Tasha and Andrew. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so so cute. Cute. <laughs> Sorry, it took me a moment there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Satin's brain. I was like, very oh, slow. Like, like, what does that mean? <laughs> So yeah, so that's come out, and then there might be more along the way. Exciting. So yeah, Ooh. very exciting, very that's exciting. So we'll yeah. link them below. Yes. We'll yeah. Sure. <laughs> Amber, what are you loving at the moment? I am loving the Bondi Sands Technicolor um, oh. Fake Tan. It's like they're coming out with all these different undertones. So for me, obviously, because of my albinism, the t usually I put on tan and it goes really orange because mm -hmm. it just doesn't work with my skin. But the cool toned one, basically just gives you a really, really nice, cool tone that doesn't look orange. Really nice. But they've got like purple, emeralds, an orange one for all different skin tones. It's amazing. That's fab. And is it a stay on? Yeah, so it's off? just a mousse, express mousse. So you, could, I'll, I mean, it says three hours, but I'll usually just like sleep in it overnight. Yeah. yeah. And I love it. I mean, the cool tone one doesn't go too dark as well. So I think it's nice for quite a natural tan. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's amazing. I'm also loving, I just bought a pair of, Penelope Chilver's um, Mary Jane Darley wedges. Ooh, cool. So they have like the most beautiful colors. I got one in like a really vibrant orange. They've got like ribbons over the top. Oh, oh nice. Um, and they've got like a bright pink, a bright orange and a bright blue. Like it's beautiful. And they're genuinely, I really struggle with wedges. Like I'm mm. already quite tall. So I feel like when I wear them, I usually go for quite like short ones. Mm. But I wore these the other day and no, like no feet pain the whole oh, day. It was a incredible. Dream. Yeah. 
I need them for holiday, actually. Yeah, yeah they are so, so good. Beautiful. Daisy, what are you loving right now? My For You page is just flooding me with Ninja Creamy recipes. Oh, yeah. So I um, I think I need one. I mean, life. I Have literally... No, 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 I've not got one. Okay. I would love one, though. I keep seeing... Uh, Sophia and Chintzy have it. And I remember last summer, they were doing all sorts of, like, concoctions in it. Do you know what it is? Mm. Is it like the ice cream? So, yeah, yeah. basically, you, you have it. these pots and you put your ingredients in the night before and freeze them overnight. So you could put in, for example, frozen um, cut up banana, yeah. bit of coconut milk and a few bits of dark chocolate or something you freeze it mm. and put it in this cream it whizzes it around and makes it into like either it's, it's either like a milkshake yeah texture, you can do you can do like soft serve, gelato sorbet oh. they could just do fruit and i juice. just honestly oh think this is what i need yeah. every night after after a meal like just get yeah. that out because yeah. you can also do quite healthy ones you could just do frozen mango yes. a bit of water you could do protein mm. Mm. and i don't know if you guys you know um what's that juice place we love juice baby juice baby have you ever had a juice I've baby oh juice my baby. god the it's texture best. is like yeah super cold and thick and you can I make like shakes that. like that love. and i just yeah. all you need for that you know is frozen bananas i know frozen bananas mm. and a blender i just feel like the ninja creamy i know that is it, on, it's next it's, on on it's, it's just quite an investment yeah. it is well similar to that i don't know how much it is i'm sure it's ridiculous prices i saw on nara smith fucking nara smith love oh nara. Nara. <laughs> i love her so much um, but she sorry can we just talk about the fact how lucky ran out of moisturizers they made <gasps> no it was they too late no it was they didn't they? they did toothpaste as well yeah, toothpaste. i do think she's playing oh 100 oh, she's, 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 she's taking the piss she's taking the piss of everyone she's but i love that favorite. Favorite. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's so like even if she's taking the piss it's so funny there was like there was a funny gimmick one being like needed to take the kids to the shopping center but there wasn't one, so it's like someone actually building <laughs> oh, yeah. a whole shopping centre. No, I saw one the other night, and it was it. her doing her movie night, and it was like, I was having a movie night, so obviously, and then it stitched the other person, like, so obviously I needed to make the movie. So I went back to film school, and I went to film school, and I filmed a movie, <laughs> and I became joking. a director. Like, she just took the piss uh, out. It was so funny. Oh, oh I just think it's hilarious. It's, it's light fun, and she, like, gets involved in yeah, the fun, I think, yeah. as well. But my point was, like the Ninja Creamy, she has this attachment for her um, KitchenAid, and it makes ice cream. So it's like a bowl and it churns the ice cream. And I was like, this is probably like 300 pounds or something, but it looks incredible. Has anyone seen the 2Js and Zara collaboration? Uh, I literally so wonder. There's no woman stuff there. No, but yeah. I think we can still wear it. Yeah. There's the coolest glasses. There are the coolest Ooh, clocks. Epic. Like mm. it is 2Js. It was obviously founded by two young guys in their 20s and they have just got Nailed the aesthetic, it. the style, everything. They, yeah. take, go on, they take content creators on these incredible press trips oh, and yeah. the content they create is just um, unbelievable. It's like cow, it's kind of like desert it, cowboy vibes. Yeah. It's like Ooh. really like that vibe. It's, it's just There's so boxer, cool. There's boxers, have you seen the boxer shorts? I might get a pair of their boxer shorts because oh, I think I that it, for, in yeah. the summer, so easy So yeah. easy to start. Suddenly you are going to be onto the. Onto <laughs> okay, you need to show me after this. And the, they're always, the guys that run it up. Oh, yeah. Well, that's yeah, yeah, you're right. It's like the Western yeah, aesthetic, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like Western vibes. And it's the logo with two stars. I'm sure I, I must have seen, seen this. You, I must yeah. Have. Anyway, really cool collab. And I just rate Zara for um, yeah. working with a brand like that. That's really, really cool. cool. Um, what are you loving? Well, I actually have got my first set of Biab. And I like, Ooh. everyone was talking about it forever and ever. Mm. So it's probably oh, just really like nice. everyone knows what it is now. But it has life changed changing. my life. Mm. Like, my nails feel so much better. They mm. feel so much thicker. I do get, like, my nails grow to quite a good length, but then they straight away just break. And I'm very mm. heavy-handed. So everything I do, I break a nail. And this just, like, I zipped my finger <laughs> into my suitcase, and it didn't break, and it was fine. <laughs> and I, like, did, I, like, bent my finger back, and nothing happened, and I just feel like it's, like, the... Like, it's my new favourite thing. I'm going to have to get it five is, every time. But I, it's more expensive, but it's almost actually mm. worth it. It yeah. lasts longer. It lasts mm. over five weeks. And it keeps your nails, their length, and it keeps the like them less damaged. So yeah. It's, yeah. if you can just invest a tiny bit more money, it will save you. It's basically in between gel and acrylics yeah. is what they okay, explain. Got you. But also, right. it's almost perfect. satna has got like a French tip with some mm. red. And actually, it's perfect for that kind of style because yeah. that's the kind of thing. If you got acrylic, you'd be chipping all exactly. day long. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But and yeah, I love. I, I went to the salon. And I always get just red or like a block color. And she's like, "Do you want to maybe try something a bit different?" I was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> so yeah, I really like this style. No, I love this. Yeah, yeah fun it's very nice. It's um, so cute. But yeah, I love that. Anything else you're loving? So mm. I last night I've been meaning to start it for a while. I started Eric, which is on Netflix. I've and just finished that. Have you? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I've heard mixed good. reviews. What do you guys Well, I, I've only watched, I think, one, maybe two episodes. Okay. So I don't have, like, a full explanation mm. on it. Mm. But I, I really like it so far. For those who don't know, it stars Benedict Cumberbatch mm -hmm. as the main character. It's basically about 
um, his son who gets kidnapped. Yeah. I don't want to really say too much. Oh, more why than do that. you get a bit scared with kidnapping? Yeah, so yeah. yeah. It's not like it's not like it's a not traditional. Scary, okay. It's not scary. No. It's not, and it's not a traditional story. It's more trying to figure out what happened. Everything's a bit like the storylines going on as well, like other the ones yeah, around it. Yeah. Okay. okay. I do want to get really my teeth stuck into. Yeah. Well, Something I was saying maybe. to you yesterday. I feel like there's other than obviously having just started this. There's no good TV at the moment. I feel That's like I'm not watching anything. Have you guys watched the documentary about the footballer? So there was a, a woman married to a footballer called Jay Lloyd, who sadly died in a car crash, and she basically discovered that he had a whole nother wife. <gasps> and it is wild. Oh, oh my god. god! I think I saw on Netflix. You need to watch that. Watch it's on Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's okay, really maybe insane. there is some good TV. Well, I feel like all the TV that I want to watch is coming, like House of Dragon, the new yes. season yes. coming soon. Yeah. Stranger Things, new season coming soon. Something Are you else? watching anything, Amber? I keep just re-watching things. Yeah. I just finished re-watching um, The Thick of It for the fifth oh, time. I've never heard of that. <laughs> oh my God, I just can't stop. Like, it's just <laughs> such an easy, like when I get home from work and I've made supper and just like sitting on the sofa, it's just, it's an easy mm. watch. Yeah. You know it's going to be funny. You know it's going to be good TV, but then I'm about to restart The Vampire Diaries. <gasps> Love Vampire I Diaries. I'm Damien, Team Damien. Oh, same. Oh, yeah. oh my God, same. <laughs> I was Always. thinking about today because it's come up on Netflix. And I was like, oh, yeah. I might have to rewatch yeah, it. Yeah, I loved it. I will say I am Team Damon until Klaus comes on. And then yeah, I'm Team Klaus. I do Klaus. Have you ever yeah. watched the originals? I watched a bit of it, not the whole thing. I couldn't thing. get into the original. No, I yeah. couldn't. When it first, first came out, I was like, oh, good, like Klaus. And then I was like, oh, this is fucking boring. Yeah. yeah. I, couldn't, yeah. I couldn't get into it. But I feel like I need to maybe watch that. I've been watching, um, it's very old, but Grey's Anatomy. Yes. I don't get That's why I've never throwback. watched it. Well, you've never. No, oh so I'm on like season six at the moment. Oh my God, you're in for a ride. Oh, um, last night, I was so sad. <laughs> oh, I was so sad and I know. I, I don't want to give spoilers, but it was when, obviously, <laughs> spoiler alert. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was when Mark just died and oh, Lexi. Oh, it's the work from the plane crash. I was like, why did you kill that Mark? Is, <laughs> I think that why? season. Also, you think that season is like the saddest it could get and it gets worse. Oh God, I'm it not prepared. Worse. So much happens. I'm not prepared. But it's on season 20 and I've actually not watched the last. 20 yes. seasons? Yes. And the episodes are like 45 to an well, hour You're set in the next year. Oh, in yeah, TV. you're set yeah. 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 Quite similar to Grey's Anatomy. Sometimes on a Saturday when I'm having like a nice Saturday night in, I still watch Casualty. Well, that's very rare of you. That <laughs> is very rare of me. On the, on the odd occasion that it does happen, <laughs> I will put on Casualty. Do you guys ever watch Casualty? Oh, oh I've heard it. I've I'm heard heard not that. expecting you to say oh, that. I am obsessed. What is it? It's kind of like Grey's, Ma okay. Grey's Anatomy. It's just BBC. Yeah. And it's all about like an A&E. And it has like all these different storylines that go okay. on. And like, it's literally like, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it's so good. It's like, it's been going for years and yeah. years and years. Okay. And they have like these staple characters that have been on that. I mean, it must be for like 30 years, but it's right. just incredible. Like, okay. it's so good, so good. Mm. Question, what do we all think about Jelly Shoes? Love Once. them. As in like back in the days when we wore chubby shoes. Yeah, they're back they're, in trend. They're, they're back. back. No, I used what? to wear them all the time. Oh, yeah. they're the cutest shoes. I do think they're cool. I think it depends how you style them. You would, because yeah. you could so look like a child. What they're are like, they, like sea shoes? Like they're, they're, almost, they're almost like fisherman sandal, but okay. jelly but version. Jelly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I can like, get behind yeah. that. I love it. If they're not too clunky, yeah. Yeah. they're quite sort of dainty. Mm. Mm. Mark Jacobs did a collab with the brand Melissa, and they've done some that look like okay. um, platform. They look quite cool. Ooh, yeah. And there's another, I think Tory Burch do some, which is so, so quite cool. random, mm. but they look really cool. And yeah. obviously, like, I'm sure you can get them at yeah. H&M and Zara now, but yeah, I feel like they're really cool. I think they're coming back. I think we're going to see the yeah. yeah. Chinese shoes back But that just reminds us, we are hosting a live podcast with Mark Jacobs. Tickets are on sale right now. Yeah, snap um, them up. There'll be some amazing goodie bags. Yeah, and we'll have some familiar faces on the sofa Yeah, as well. so we'll plug that whilst whilst you're listening. Yeah. Well, that rounds off today's episode, but thank yeah. you all so much. Thank yeah, you. Thank you guys for being here. Tasha, it's been great to have you back yeah. on the sofa. Thank you for having me, gals. And you'll have to come back once our once new on sets are new one, already. Yeah. Yeah. 100%, you know I'm there. Um, the next episode of Challenges yes. Yes. will be out very shortly as well, so do keep an eye out for that. Um, keep your eyes and ears out, guys. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, see you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.